Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Fast Bites cheeseburgers. This one is a beef patty with American cheese on a bun. Um, it says it's now with 30% more beef. That's good. Um, 20 grams of protein. It's uh, 5.1 ounces or 145 grams. We bought these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar because everything's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, it says keep frozen and the directions, I'll get to this in a second. It's 430 calories for the entire sandwich. So um, the higher than I would have thought, but but whatever. And the directions are up here on the side. So it says four best results, heat from frozen. So you don't want to thaw these. Remove from box, open one end of the wrapper, microwave and high for 70 to 80 seconds. I'll probably do 75. Uh, last time was your rest for one minute prior to serving and then adjust accordingly based on your microwave. Um, no pull tab, which I wouldn't have expected. Oh, it does have a pull tab actually. I wasn't expecting a pull tab on this, but it does. It's nice. Makes it convenient. All right, so that looks like um, it's not a bad looking size burger. Um, the cheese, you can see the cheese on there. So I'm gonna open one end of this to vent it and get it in the microwave for 75 seconds and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I didn't microwave it on the paper plate, but I just used that to carry it over here. Um, open the plastic bag up and um, the cheese didn't turn to completely to liquid. There's a little bit of stickiness there and there's the bun. It has, um, it has the same smell as like the Kroger brand um, cheeseburger. And I think the Kroger brand's about the same price. Might be, I don't know, I don't remember what it is. I think it's a little bit more, but not much. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna let this set for a minute like it recommends, and then I'll be back to try it out. I would also, I was letting it sit and cool off. I would also highly recommend you take this bottom bun. It's it's kind of wet where it's set on the bottom. Take it off and set it separate while it's cooling off. Um, because if you don't, it's gonna get wet and soggy. It's already a little wet. Uh, but you don't want it to get soggy and, and mushy. So just flip your burger over and let the bottom um, set and dry out without being attached because it'll, like I said, it gets nasty. All right, it's cooled off a little bit, not long. I, I didn't leave it too long. Um, that bottom bun's still a little um, wet, but. It's not bad. It has a um, like a charbroiled kind of flavor that you get that little um, a smokiness to it. Um, so it's got a decent flavor to it. The bread's a little uh, denser, not hard, just dense, um, denser than you would think. You can get a, a little bit of the flavor of the cheese. At least the bread's not hard, which I hate when the bread gets really hard uh, where you can't hardly eat it. Um, this one's actually pretty soft. The burger itself, the texture is good. You can tell it's not 100% beef. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's, there's some other um, probably fillers added to it. It's not bad, but you can just tell it's a little um, mushier than a hamburger is. Uh, not bad. Worth a dollar? Probably. I'm going to give it a three. It's just your average everyday burger. I think uh, if you add some ketchup or mayo or something like that on there, it would taste better, um, which is probably going to do. I'm going to get some ketchup on here, but... Overall, it's pretty decent. It's just your everyday run-of-the-mill uh, microwave cheeseburger. So it's not bad. It's not awesome gourmet food or anything, but it's not bad either. So it's definitely worth a dollar. If you've got a Dollar Tree in your area and you want to uh, buy one of these for lunch, feel free. You know, I think you're, you'll be safe. Just don't expect it to be, you know, like top-of-the-line flavors or anything because it's not. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.